Hi, welcome back to a new camera haul. This time I'm going to show you all the cameras I found since last time. Oh well, most of these cameras I found before the $600 camera haul, but I thought it was a better idea to show you the, uh, those first than these now. So let's start with the cameras in this box. These were, were the cameras that I found this summer. First we have this let's see Nikon EM with all the man manuals and a 50 mm 1.8 as well as a 135 mm um, 2.8 all of these are working fine and I got them for free from a friend of my dad's that was nice. Uh, next we have this a Konica FC1 and this was in a lot of free cameras for five dollars. I sold but the rest of them because I didn't want them. But the thing I really wanted was this Konica macro lens. It's a 55mm 3.5 and it is working just fine. Next up we have this 28mm 3.5 Minolta lens that I paid 200 crowns for, $20. A little bit expensive but the lens is working. Over here we have a Polaroid Supercolor 645. I have not tested this but it was cheap at $6. This is just a flash that came with these cameras. Over here we have a 70 crowns, uh, $7. It's a Kodak 620 camera. And I didn't really look at this camera before buying it, so I just but it looked nice and so I bought it, but it is really not in that good of condition. It has quite wrinkled bellows and it's of course the 620 film with I, which I didn't realize when I bought it. I still think it was a okay buy. And we have very system exposed roll film. Um, and a release cable thing and lastly this which is a Yashica Minimatic lens a really nice rangefinder camera from the 60s I believe it is working just fine and I paid eight, uh, $8 for it Next, uh, I found this box of cameras in a, a on a in a, a on a, a garage sale, and uh, I paid about forty dollars for everything, but I have sold some stuff already, so I got my money back. Uh, I have some slides, a projector lamp, teleconverter, some filters. Here we have a Canon AV1. This one is missing the winding, rewind lever, but I have replaced it with a screw for now, so it works. Then we have this Canon EOS 1000FN, not tested. And my favorite of the bunch, the Canon T50. And this one has a, a complete battery latch thing, so that's... Not really that common. Uh, in here we have a zoom lens for Olympus OM. It is a 75-205 zoom lens from Vivitar. And my, probably my favorite is this 
me up the flexorette. This one I had worked a little bit on to get it working, but now it is fully functional. Had to really look at the little other rocks also. So, and for the last couple cameras, these are the ones that I have bought online. Let's just get the worst buy ever out of the way first. This Polaroid land camera, um, 220. For some reason, I have no idea why I paid $18 for this thing. Which is just way, 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 way too much. Uh, I'm not even, I don't even have any idea if it's working or not. So just a really bad buy on my part. Um, then over here we have two cameras that I bought. Um, it is a EXA 2. This one I paid $10 for. Said it was working and well it is working kinda. But sadly, the uh, shutter curtains are uh, sadly leaking light, so I can't use it. But it was only ten dollars, and I didn't ask for a refund because I was quite happy with it by either way. Here we just have a movie camera that I actually got my money back on because it didn't work. It is a Agfa Movex 8. And last and of course best is this apparat Acaret. And what made me buy this is not only that it has dual viewfinders, but the lens is a Schneider Crosnock Sanar. 50mm 3.5 lens. This camera has a, quite an interesting lens mount also. Really excited to try this one out. And I had to pay about $15 for this one. Which I think is a quite a good price for one of these. So that's all for this camera haul. Uh, I still have about 50 cameras that I haven't shown you yet. So another camera haul is uh, probably coming out uh, soon. So uh, thanks for watching, see you guys next time.